pizza, pop, all that fun stuff. So, um, it's, uh, I should be here momentarily. Thank you, Mike, for being here tonight. We're really excited to have him. Um, but before we get started, just a couple things, just some general housekeeping things. So just make sure to clean up uh, when you're done tonight. Nick here to my right, um, he so generously provided this space tonight. Uh, so Nick actually runs the OSC Tech Lab here, and he's also part of Launch League, which is what the Akron VR Meetup is a part of. Um, Nick, real quick, do you want to talk about the OSC Tech Lab and what you guys do? Sure. Yeah, so uh, we're a co-working space. So we have a bunch of freelancers, designers, web developers, small businesses, startups, kind of all of the above, um, that want a community to kind of work with. They come in here and they, they work out of here and they do some cool stuff. And we also host a lot of meetup groups like this. Uh, we're up to about one or two a week now, so it's getting kind of crazy. But there's a lot of really cool stuff out there if you guys want to get involved and get connected with other people doing cool stuff tonight. Great, yeah, thank you, Nick. So as Nick said, this is a part of the Launch League ecosystem, um, this VR meetup. And so the joy of that is we have access to all of Launch League's resources. So for example, free of charge. So for example, if I want to create a company, I can go talk to people in Launch League and find out different funding routes to go here in the Akron area. I can also get connected to developers and other local talent to help grow the business free of charge they can connect you with the right people and put you in with the right resources, which is a really, really fantastic thing. Um, so tonight, I'm almost 100% sure Mike is going to inspire all of us to want to create our own product of some sort. And Launch League can help you take that idea that you have to the next level. So I just wanted to make everyone aware of that. Um, I want to talk about something kind of exciting. So Tony here has been a member of the Meetup for about a year now. Um, and he has actually created a product for VR that is in its final finished state and has brought it with him tonight to share with us. And I thought real quick before we got started, if you could just briefly share um, what you created and, and just talk about the product. It's pretty exciting. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Um, <clears throat> first time I ever put an Oculus headset on was at Best Buy when they were doing the demos even before they were released. Put it on, and the guy's like, "Look, stay within this area. Don't move. Don't don't knock anything over. Don't don't do anything wrong." <laughs> and uh, so, uh, after I got the Oculus, I took it back to the house and we started playing it. And uh, I was playing some punching game, and I almost put my fist through my monitor. So I needed some way to, to define where I was when I was had the headset on, because basically, when you're immersed in it, you don't have any idea where you are in the room. So I went to work. I work in a rubber shop, and we sell this uh, antique matting. And I'm like, well, that'd be awesome to stand on, and it gives enough thickness so that I can not. I'll know when I'm off with it, basically. Uh, and then I'm, I went through a couple of iterations where I added some buttons, so I knew where the center was. I knew which way I was facing with a north button, and then. Uh, Went through a couple of different things, uh, ended up with uh, an end result, which is a 24 and a 36 inch mat that is available right now on Amazon. Uh, and um, <laughs> I call it the mouse mat for VR. It is fantastic once you find out. I mean, if, if you use VR now, you know you need it. Uh, and uh, uh, anybody that would like to swing by work and not pay Amazon for real markup fees, right? So, yep. <laughs> so uh, uh, and I appreciate this because this inspired me to be able to, to do it and, and bring it to you guys. So, uh, thanks everybody. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. All right. So, we have, for anyone that's standing right now, we have a seat here, 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 over here by Mike on the bench. We've got one or two spots. We got one over here, so I just want to make sure everyone's comfortable before we get going. What's that? All right. So the food has arrived. I'm just very excited. So I'm going to briefly introduce Mike, and then once he gets rolling. Um, would you like a piece before we get started? Well, I was about to say, why not just take a couple minutes, let everyone mad dash get theirs, and then sit down and we'll start. I, I like okay. the sound of that. So, yeah. it's 7.06 right now, let's just say mad dash by 7.06. <laughs> 
11, 11, and we'll head back to our seats. And we you all start. can get pizza in five minutes. That'd <laughs> <laughs> be pretty impressive. So, so it's all set in the back. Um, it's, yeah. see, see, the pizza is not virtual. See, the pizza is real. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yes.